Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. Our opening song is Softly and Tenderly. Softly and tenderly Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. See on the portals he's waiting and watching watching for you and for me come home come home ye who are weary come home earnestly tenderly jesus is calling calling for you and for me why should we tarry when Jesus is pleading, pleading for you and for me? Why should we linger and heed not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Come home, come home, ye who are weary. tenderly Jesus is calling calling for you and for me we've got our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and with your spirit as we begin our celebration we take a moment to call to mind our sins and our failings we ask God's mercy and compassion You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our refuge in trials, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow. Spare your people, that though rightly chastised now by affliction, we may find relief at last through your loving mercy. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man Adam had eaten of the tree. The Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response is, in you, my God, I place my trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. I will deliver him and glorify him. With lengths of days, I will gratify him. 
and I will show him my salvation. In you, my God, I place my trust. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last, thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. first reading from Genesis, we hear the account of Adam and Eve. They have eaten of the fruit of the tree that God told them not to, and when God says, why did you do that? She blames it on the serpent. Well, he gave it to me and told me to eat it, so I did. We have a lot of people in our own lives advising us, suggesting to us, telling us what we should do, and the question becomes, who do we listen to? In that account, Adam and Eve didn't listen to God, they listened to someone else. In our own lives, who do we listen to? Who do we take our advice from? Who do we take our guidance from? What part does my faith play? When someone tells me something, what part does my faith play in accepting that? It's a good thing for all of us to consider. Who do I believe? Who do I trust? Where does my faith come into it all? We pray today for all those who are sick, that they may know the healing touch of God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor, the homeless, the hungry, that their needs might be met. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for strength of faith, for perseverance, for patience. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders. They may make wise and prudent decisions. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that we hold within, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask you continue to watch over and guide us each day. Help us always to live the faith that we profess. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you in need of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord, may we receive these gifts in purity of heart. May they bring us healing and strength now and forever. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Union Antiphon. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.